In Pursuit of Silence is a meditative documentary film about a relationship with silence, sound, and the impact of noise in our lives. And it's a very important film for our time given this world of sensory overload and technology. We're bombarded by noise everywhere we go. Um, and it's just a really important film to help uh, people understand what that means for their own lives personally. Working on this film was an was interesting experience as this was the first film I've ever worked on. And some of the challenges along the way, um, one in particular I can think of is uh, all the different locations, being able to try to capture the sound of the area in an accurate way. And given the fact that the film shows so many different um, types of sound, it, it shares so many different um, sounds, sounds in terms of uh, loud and quiet. Uh, just being able to present those in an accurate way was, was kind of a challenge along the way, but also something that we all grew to really um, love to pay deep and close attention to as we were recording. So one of the locations we filmed at, uh, New Mallory Abbey in Piasta, Iowa, um, is near and dear to my heart. I'm originally from Iowa, and I had a pre-existing relationship with some of the monks uh, at this monastery. And so that was kind of a connection that we made. Um, so we, when we went out to Iowa, it was really, really fun for me. Um, and uh, to this day, I still keep in touch with some monks there through letter writing and emails. In the film, um, we, go to, we go to the forest in, in Japan, and we talk with a forest therapist. Um, Dr. Miyazaki, and he he's done numerous, numerous studies that, that talk about how forest therapy impacts our health and, and helps our well-being. And long story short, while we were in production for the film, I began hiking, not even related to Dr. Miyazaki's studies, and I began hiking in California on a more regular basis. And later that year, I went to my doctor for a regular checkup, and my doctor said, what are you doing differently? Your cholesterol is incredible. I rarely see cholesterol like this. And I told her I was hiking more. I was spending more time in nature, and uh, not even in an intentional way, but I was seeing firsthand the proof for myself of being outside and being surrounded by nature and getting away, getting away in solitude and, and being quiet by myself. So I guess the, the short story of uh, how I started working on this film is um, I was working as a counselor for about two years and I got burnt out in my job and I was reading Thomas Merton at the time who was a Trappist monk and I decided I needed to travel to all 17 Trappist monasteries uh, which is quite interesting because I have no uh, Catholic background of my own or anything like that and while I was traveling to the 17 Trappist monasteries uh, a mutual friend of uh, director Patrick Shins connected us, and and the friend kind of said, "Oh, this girl's this girl's pursuing silence, and um, you should meet her." So we connected, and we met uh, Patrick and I. And about a month or two later, Patrick reached out and said, "Hey, would you have any desire to work on this film?" And um, and I moved out about a week or two later to LA. Yeah, working with. Um, with this team has been a really, really incredible experience. And um, I, I know documentary filmmakers are often known as the truth tellers. And that's one thing that's been really great about working on this team is I've, I've always been aligned with um, kind of their orient and mindset towards the truth and, and how to expose that and how to share that. One of the most important aspects of this film for me was that um, when we had continuous conversations about this in the office, um, just allowing silence to emerge for itself and whatever that might be for the viewer. And, um, you know, uh, clothing silence, you know, making a film about silence is kind of a paradox in and of itself. So clothing, and you know, we were choosing metaphors along the way to try to, try to describe it. Um, at the same time, one of the huge angles and, and, and goals of the film, in my mind, is that it would not be prescriptive, that it would be open-handed, that it would allow people to conclude for themselves whatever that might be. Because it's heavily connected with mystery, and mystery, um, you know, those things in our lives that we can't fully describe and fully grasp or fully understand, that's a very strong spiritual experience. You can find In Pursuit of Silence on Twitter and Instagram at IPOSFilm, that's I-P-O-S film, and you can find us on Facebook at In Pursuit of Silence Documentary Film.